In this work, we propose Wardor SLAM, a dense indirect SLAM system that takes dense optical flows as input. Our method reconstructs realistic dancing structures from monocular stereo or RGBD input in real time on a single gaming GPU device. Our method benefits from recent advances in dense optical flow methods and achieves very good accuracy and robustness. You may check out our open source implementation from the link at the corner. Within the different categories, our system is positioned at non-feature-based indirect method. It does not speak to the general difficulties of illumination change, large viewpoint change, or texture-less regions given by direct or feature-based methods. The overall workflow of our system is as following. It consists of four modules. First is the per-process module, which estimates dense optical flows from the input video using an external estimator, and optionally, a prior depth map will be estimated or processed when the input is from stereo camera or have a depth sensor. Second is the front end, which estimates the scene structure and local camera poses with their uncertainty estimates over a sliding window on the optical flow sequence. And this is achieved uh, based on an updated version of our early work Wardor, which we'll describe later. And the third part is a mapping module, which is a keyframe-based mapping that manages the estimation from the front end, as well as provides geometric priors back to the front end. And finally is the backend module, which establishes special constraints between keyframes and detecting loop closure instances. And these are managed through a priority scheme that prioritizes the keyframe pairs from the latest active map, which are close enough. And also for loop closure, it prioritizes the detected keyframe pairs and its surroundings. Our visual geometry module is based on our early work Wardor at CPR20, uh, which addressed the recovery of scene and camera geometry from a sequence of dense optical flows. And in this work, we further extend the original Wardor, which allows the model taking external geometric priors. And the prior could be taken from stereo camera or depth sensor, or either from a previous Wardor estimation, uh, which bootstraps uh, monocular odometry. And we also made a few improvements to the inference game, which brought better accuracy with faster inference speed. And welcome to visit our paper for more details. And for keyframe alignment, we adopt a depth map alignment framework, but we generalize the point to plane error to account for an inverse depth parameterization. And this gives fast convergence speed and good robustness towards triangulated depth map that can range to infinite. We show some qualitative results on KT and Tom GPD datasets, illustrating the results under outdoor and indoor environments. And we show some results of the Tartan Air dataset, also under outdoor and indoor environments. And finally, also Tata Air dataset, we show some results under different lighting conditions and illustrating the results under dynamic lighting conditions. And finally, we show some 2D visualization of our result, including the triangulated depth map and its confidence. And you are welcome to our paper to find out more details. Thank you.